Hello everyone and welcome to another Tales of Christoria with me video with me as a hell. I'm getting a little ahead of myself today. Um, welcome back everyone. I got some new characters on the horizon so I wanted to take a look at them, analyze their kits, and talk about how well they'll fit into the meta these days. So let's uh, get right into it and hopefully i'll be able to get more videos out soon just still struggling with finding the time but let's get into taking a look at these characters and analyzing them so we got ssr aspel on with the show and ssr eleanor together as one really disappointed we got another sword unit but besides that i love aspel um, not too excited about Eleanor, but let's take a look at their kits and see what we got. See if they're worth pulling for or s if, if you should be saving more. Alrighty, so this is launching on Halloween, October 31st, and it's going to go all the way to the 15th of November, so halfway through the month. So two week period as usual. So Asbel is Sword and Fire. His Memoria Stone, HP 7000, attack 3100 and 400 defense. Very obviously a DPS unit. Memoria skill is Torment 6 Fire, crit damage plus 135% to fire allies. So a new crit damage Memoria Stone for fire units. Uh, the Hisui one does 95% and you get fire, you get 3 plus 135% with the Asbel Stone. So that Asbel Stone it's going to be way worth pulling for for people who love running crit damage stones. His character 44,400 HP, 3,600 attack, and 4,320 defense. Interestingly enough, his Memoria Stone has very high attack, but the character itself, the attack is actually the worst part. It's his lowest, his lowest stat, so likelihood he's not going to be an actual dps maybe a sub dps or uh, a hit gen character but anyway let's take a look at it's he's going to be hit gen character awakening skill warming up the crowd plus 25 percent attack to fire allies at 20 hits and plus 30 percent attack to fire allies at 40 hits very similar to summer colette awakening skill so that's what we're taking a look at here. We can get a total of 55% attack up to allies, fire allies when you hit 40 hits. And so let's take a look at his, his kit here. His mystic art is Coiling Terror, 180% attack, 25 hits to one enemy on 120 OL. So it's the lowest over limit uh, possible. And it increases attack of all allies by 30% for one turn. So, very good hit gen support, it looks like, we're going to have here. Art 1 is Shatter Steel Swarm, 110% attack, 16 hits, 1 enemy on a 1 turn cooldown, so very spammable. And increases attack of all allies by 15% for 3 turns. Okay, so a spammable art that increases attack by 15%, so you can get a 30% attack boost off of that, 30% attack boost off his Mystic Art. And his art 2 is Heaven's Wrath, 165% uh, attack, 22 hits, 1 enemy on a 5 turn cooldown. And it's 100% chance to cast Burn for 4 turns. 4 turns is a long time to have Burn. <laughs> that is a long time for Burn on... Uh... That's a lot of damage. So his, his damage scaling actually isn't too bad for a support... Uh, character for a hit gen character 180% 110% 165% um, with 3600 attack and if you were to get that stone on him 3100 extra attack he can actually do some decent damage especially with his spammable arts with his mystic art and his art one um, you can get a total of 60% attack boost off of that and you'll get another 55% from his awakening skill so he's very, very strong. Um, I would say a better version of Flynn. I think Flynn gets a bit more attack or hits. But um, otherwise, I think he's a better hit gen than Flynn. Mainly because he can increase attack, where Flez Flynn increases defense. And he also has a burn that lasts for four turns. So when you hit that burn... See, they're pretty much going to be burned until Heaven's Wrath comes back off cooldown. You're going to have only one turn of downtime between uh, the burn ending and the cooldown. 
of Heaven's Wrath coming back up. So that's very good. And also, again, you have those attack up increases. So as Bell, what you're going to be wanting to do here with this kit, uh, you'll be wanting, before you unleash his Mystic Art, you use Shatter Steel Swarm, the turn before you unleash it, so that you can get the 50% attack up, and then use Heaven's Wrath for the 22 hits, and then Coiling Terror for the, the Mystic Art, or use Coiling Terror first, actually, to get the 30% attack boost, and then use Heaven's Wrath. Um for the 22 hits in order to make sure that you hit that 40 hit mark because that's going to give you a total of uh, 47 hits yeah he doesn't get a ton of hits in one turn but again he really boosts your team and can actually output a decent amount of damage so I really enjoy that kit Asbel I think definitely worth pulling for especially if you don't have a fire hit gen character He's definitely worth pulling for. So let's take a look at Eleanor. She's Earth and Spear. <clears throat> the HP is 5,500, attack 2,750, 900 defense. Memoria skill is Tech 6 Earth, plus 18% crit rate to Earth allies. Again, another good Memoria stone if people really, for people who really enjoy using utilizing crit. Um, this is crit rate, but it's 18% crit rate. That's really high. Um, not very, memori very many Memoria Stones get that high of crit rate. So let's take a look at her. I really do, by the way, like these uh, arts. These ma Magician Circus arts. They're really art, art, as in like image art. They're really good. Um, I like Eleanor's art. don't really like Eleanor as a character, but I do like her art here. The HP of her character is 54,000, attack 2,220, and defense is 4,800. Obviously a support character with that low attack. Her awakening skill is aiming for excellence, plus 20 to the OL gauge of earth allies when healed. Okay, so she's a healer, plus 35 to the OL gauge of earth allies when arts used. So really good over limit battery on her awakening skill, especially when healing and when using arts. So. Hopefully she has some form of spammable art here so that she can help boost the over limit gauge of earth allies. Really useful for those earth allies that have really long over limits like Yuri and uh, Mint. Uh, though um, it's, it's very, very fairly easy to get earth allies that can spam mystic arts or get Mystic Arts at least on a three turn cooldown. So I don't know if this is if this awakening skill is exactly necessary. It may be necessary for some people's Earth teams, but let's take a look at the rest of her kit. Her Mystic Art is tricky handling. It boosts uh, allies attack by 100% for three turns. It's on a 200 over limit. So that seems, I mean, it's really good with 100% attack up, but it see it's it's kind of underwhelming as a mystic art um but 100 percent attack up for three turns is is big that, that is very big um because normally you can only get that kind of attack up off of awakening skills um but that that is huge that, that is a very bit of big attack up boost for sure I just don't, again, don't know if that's going to be really necessary for a lot of people's teams, but very, very big buff for sure. Art 1 is shark, Shock Drum, 30% attack, 16 hits to all enemies, so she gives some really good hit gen as well, if you're especially if you're running into multiple enemy t uh, team, 4 enemies is going to get you 64 hits. It's on a 3 turn cooldown and it decreases attack of all enemies by 20% for 3 turns. And her art 2 is a life, which restores 99% HP to one ally on a 5 turn cooldown. So, um, her awakening skill gives plus 20 to all the gauge of earth allies when healed. Um, she has one heal that's on a 5 turn cooldown. So, she's not going to get a lot of, a lot of benefit out of that awakening skill, Eleanor herself, but 
if you're using a n another healer or other healers, then they can get some benefit out of using that. Uh, now this will actually, actually running Eleanor can actually possibly make running a full he uh, healer team possible because of the attack up off of her mystic art. My only disappointment here is, so, so she can get 55 oil gauge in a single turn if you heal and use an if you use if when you heal and use her art so when you use art 2 she's going to get 55 over limit cuz of off that awakening skill so she can probably three turn her art mystic art but that's still going to be very difficult with 200 over limit um anyway so yeah basically you're just you're going to want to just use life when you can basically off of cooldown to get her over limit so she, you can boost her attack, boost the attack up of all your allies. Um, and basically you shock drum off of cooldown. I wouldn't wait. You basically gonna be using everything off cooldown. Use shock drum first, then go into life so you can get up to tricky handling. Use tricky handling to boost your attack up and then just spam as many arts as you can at that point and run run allies with low low art cooldown so you can spam arts in order to get that over limit gauge up and increase for Eleanor so that she can increase your allies attack. Now it's going to be if you run the Stone Stone um, and if you have other allies that boost that have over limit battery run, worked in it's very possible to probably two turn or even get her her um, Mystic Art off twice in one turn to get a 200% attack up, so it's very good and strong, I won't deny that, but I definitely don't see it being super useful for a lot of people's Earth teams. Um, maybe you could run it in a Mono Spear team, would be very good, um, but again, her Awakening Seal only helps Earth allies, so... I don't know how useful that's going to be in a in a mixed element team. But anyway, that's the new characters, Asbel and Eleanor. I think that they are definitely worth pulling for. Could be a bait banner with some with half anniversary up coming up on the horizon here in about three months. But we'll have to see about that. It's de they're definitely worth pulling for. I think they're very strong units, very good hit gen units and over limit battery unit. Um, if that's what your team needs, definitely pull for them. But thank you guys for coming to this video. Thank you for tuning in. And remember to like and subscribe, support the channel. Um, as I'm short on time now, I need as much support as I can with these videos that I can get out. So thank you guys so much again and have a wonderful day. See ya.